Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing Might and Magic for Blood and Honor. Uh, Might and Magic uh, 7, I'm sorry, for Blood and Honor. Um, I really enjoyed this game. This was my, this was I think the only game in the Might and Magic series that I've played. Oh, I'm sorry, I played two. This is the second one. So uh, let's get started. So here's the box. I really enjoyed the artwork. It still has the old Comp USA sticker on it. I wanted to keep it on there. Copy USA went out of business a few years ago. And then this is what I got it for. I got it for three bucks, so that's sweet. So just getting started. So this is the artwork. Um, there's embossing on the dragon and on the scale right over here. And then the rest of it's just um, very uh, glossy. Uh, there's also embossing on the two sides where it says Might and Magic for Blood and Honor on this side and on this side as well. But nothing on the top. It's just, you know, regular writing. And then on the bottom you have the specs. And then you have the back. The back has a couple of the screenshots of the game. And then four of the characters, and again, they're pretty glossy. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right. This one is open from the bottom. So first you have the two CDs. Um, I normally don't collect sealed, but I decided to leave the seal on because there's no, you know, artwork or any manual, so. And then here's the back talks about the game. I like the harpy right there. Pretty cool. So that's the CD. Then you have the installation guide. Just the paper. Then you have an ad for Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Then you have this. This is the uh, adventurer's guide to role playing. So I guess if you've never played role playing games, like kind of me, um, this will come in really useful. Talk to you about you know how the parties are created, things like that. What I also like is uh, if you look around the border, it makes it look like a book, and the artwork is always different in every page. So if you notice on this one, there's a candle. But on the next page, there's nothing. And then on the next page. Uh, and again, just, you know, the gentleman right there, the knight. And then it looks like there's some swords over there. Really good manual. It goes into, like, a lot of detail about, you know, role-playing games and everything about them. Yeah, this is cool. And then last but not least is the manual for the game. It is huge. Yeah. And it feels really good. It's not in color, but it's in, uh, so, what do they call it? Sapia? So. No, I'm sorry, it's not in Sapia. This one is in black and white. But again, same thing has the border around it. When it talks about the story. And then when it doesn't, it has this kind of a border. Uh, it focuses. So, very well detailed manual. Yeah, and that is it for this one. Uh, would I recommend this game? Absolutely. Um, I think I played like 20 or 30 hours of it. Um, and my first impression of Might of Magic, I thought it was, you know, takes place in barbarian times, you know, sorcerers and knights and dragons, but... Uh, it's actually pretty futuristic as well, and if uh, you don't know what I'm talking about, try the game out, and you will absolutely love it. That is it for this quick review. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and I apologize, I kept uh, disabling the comments in the videos, but that's because I was saying that the video was child-friendly, and so they're not allowing children to leave comments. 
Um, so now I'm just going to put, you know, not child friendly videos. So that way you can comment on the video if you like. Uh, that is it. Again, please share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.